Welcome back to NBA Cinema. So we're going to talk about the Anthony Edwards conversation a little bit more as Gil's Arena has responded. Um, it was a whole 50-minute heated back and forth between pretty much Rashad McCants and Gilbert Arenas with Brandon Jennings taking Gilbert Arenas' side. And Gilbert Arenas is taking the side of Anthony Edwards in this argument as he's attempted to explain. And Rashad McCants took the opposing viewpoint, which many agree with, um, you know, so we're going to listen to what Gilbert Arenas said. I'm just going to take a small segment to kind of highlight my points uh, from this more than 50 minute long interaction. But uh, we're going to talk about what Gilbert Arenas said about the guards or the two guards in Michael Jordan's era compared to now. And we're also going to talk about his response to KG. He said KG sounds stupid when he said that um, Anthony Edwards couldn't play in his era. And so I'm going to start by saying Anthony Edwards said he didn't watch the games and then attempted to make uh, educated analysis. I don't think there's no argument for saying I didn't see something, but now I'm going to tell you why this is better than the thing I didn't see. I don't think that makes logical sense and we can't draw any conclusions. Like if I just watch the 90s and I talked about today's game it wouldn't make any sense if I didn't watch today's game because I wouldn't have anything to base it off of no relativity no looking at how things were back at that time nothing just my feelings and I feel like my errors attack so I'm just gonna say something and so with those baseless claims he made I think that's why he's getting the backlash but we're gonna get into these clips I got a lot to say about this. So, Gil, by your estimation, how many players have Jordan's skill in this current NBA? If we just do just raw, all we can go off is just the metrics of their agility, speed, and then their jumping ability, height, and attributes. That's all we can go off of. How you use it is very... So as a shooting guard, like who are we talking about? You, you're talking about somebody like DeRozan, James Harden. You're talking about PG, PG Zach Levine. Shit, she, fucking Monk can go up in there. Like it's it's a normal thing, 40 inch inch verticals. That wasn't a thing back then. But you're talking about guys who are a mix of both, I think, as far as talent and skill. DeRozan, all those guys have a mix of both. They hit the midi, mm -hmm. they can do things, but they're also uber athletic. That's what I said. He didn't have Uber. Like, like you're talking about Reggie Millers, Joe Dumar. Right, like, these right. guys. They're not athletic at all. Uh, you know what I mean? If we really want to have this discussion about Jordan's competition, just go to this. Top five shooting guards in history. He didn't play against any of them. In response to Ant-Man's comments, uh, you brought this up earlier, uh, Kevin Garnett had this to say. He said, if I'm being honest, bro, I don't think anybody in this generation could have played like 20 years ago if I'm being 100. 20, 20 24. So tw that's 2004. Yeah, that's uh -huh. what I said. He's arguing. Them. <laughs> but will players in the league today be able to handle the physicality and toughness of 80s and 90s basketball? If we take it back just a little bit further. Yes. Because like, they are uh, big too. I'm just being Listen. Real. Yes, man. Like, stop. Like, even him saying tough, 90s say they'd say you couldn't handle our error. 80 say you couldn't handle our error. Mm -hmm. It's, listen, don't penalize me for what the league is doing. But if you're saying, I'm gonna take your body and then put it in the 80s and you just gotta adapt, where, where, players adapt, right? If you're gonna let me flop around and you're gonna call it, of course I'm gonna do it. If you say, don't call no fouls, like the playoffs happen, we play tougher. Right, but to say the 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 to say a dude that's six six two thirty five couldn't play in an era where your power force is two hundred and ten pounds just seems stupid. Right, don't 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 complain about how the game is played. That's the referee. That's the way the game is being played. But if you're telling us play like without fouls, the ref tell the ref to stop calling some of the stuff. We will adapt. Players will adapt. Play we adapt. Right? I mean, like, are we, are we stoic? We can't adapt to new environments? It's just, come on. Mm. Brady, you, you agree or disagree with that? Huh? I don't think they can adapt. You don't think players I, from this generation will be I able to handle I think they're too sensitive. I think it's gotten too sensitive to the point. We see Luka complain every single play down court. We see LeBron complain every single foul that not getting called. We don't see, like, when we used to go to the park and you didn't get no get up and keep going. 
That's a sometimes lie. you go to the sometimes that's, you go to the park. You like, look, I'm not. I didn't come here to call you fouls. For fouls I didn't come here to. I didn't come here to call fouls. I didn't come. Hey, I didn't come up here to call fouls. Keep playing, bro. Keep playing. Y'all go up here and niggas call oh, foul every single time it's because niggas time. don't want to miss shots. Niggas don't want to look bad. That's oh, you just clanking that shit. I need a foul. That's a foul. It's like back then, man. Hey, that's so rude, but get them out. Y'all air every era. Get them out. That's every a bad shot. About every, fouls. That's a bad every, shot. Every era. That like, ain't anybody, no foul. Anybody that played in the NBA is complaining about fouls. I, I, but that's what. Like, but that's no a, foul. But that's why I hate the argument of it because the evolution, the the. The commissioner has changed it, not the players. Like, if you listen to Isaiah Thomas talk about Michael Jordan, he said he complained about fouls. And they had to change the whole league because he was crying about getting clotheslined and shit like that. And he had to change it. And y'all became soft. Okay, so I kind of wanted those clips specifically for a point of reference for what I'm going to talk about. When you start talking about today's game, there's a lot more complaining. And so Gilbert tries to use Jordan getting clothesline in the air as an example to some of the things we see today where a player like Luka goes under the arms of the defender to snatch his way up into an unnatural shooting motion. Kevin Durant does it. So I think some of his, although he's an offensive uh, Dynamo, I think some of his points were skewed at a point in his career where he used to go under the arms and they would be asking for that foul. Really started with Chris Paul doing that from half court and all that type of stuff. But um, so, yeah, the rules on one hand, Gilbert's right. The rules allow you to manipulate the game and people go manipulate it the way they can to give them a competitive advantage. I mean, we saw James Harden do it for years in years with the flopping arm thing, you know, where he was driving to the basket. But I don't consider that necessarily real basketball like Jordan and them had to get it. Jordan was trying to pump fake, get you in the air. Um, he had to hang, you know, in the midst of all those trees and take fouls in the air. They didn't give you those calls. I remember when they were coming up, it was about who initiated the contact and all that stuff. So you could jump right into somebody. And if you initiated the contact, you won't get in that foul most of the time. Most of the time. I mean, obviously, you can go find one play where it happened. I'm just saying, all in all, it wasn't favorable for you to go in there and do that. So comparing the fouls from the errors isn't a good uh, place of reference from for Gilbert to pull from. Now, he talked about Malik Monk and those guys. It's crazy I didn't hear Penny Hardaway's name called, um, even though he was a point guard. I didn't hear Clyde Drexler's name called. Clyde Drexler is, and I think they did talk about Clyde Drexler in the entire clip, like when you watch the whole thing, but he was an uber-athletic guard. Um, I mean, you talk about that era. Reggie Miller was still a good six 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 seven. Like he ain't got to be the most athletic. Didn't hear nobody talk about Mitch Richmond, <laughs> which is crazy to me. Mitch Richmond from that time, big time guard, who most of these guards ain't better than, including Gilbert Arenas is not better. He didn't have a better career than Mitch Richmond. Um, so we we have to be honest about some of these things, right? We we have to really be honest. Um, you know, you start, I, I wonder what Michael Finley and some of those guys' vertical leaps was. Jerry Stackhouse, like, I, I don't think, see, some of these guys aren't remembered uh, because of how the game was played. But if you think about how the best player on the team always has the ball in his hands, Everybody runs the screen and roll. You don't play inside out as much. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, inside out so much. And so if these guys was handling the ball and shooting when they want to, like you you could say J.R. Ryder got a lot of the same things in his bag. I'm talking about peak J.R. Ryder as Anthony Edwards as far as a talent. Like if, for those that remember J.R. Ryder, Remember, he had an attitude and all that kind of stuff, but I'm just talking about his abilities. His abilities, and I'm talking about his size, being about Ant-Man's size, it was very similar. It was more similar than a lot of people would want to um, 
give him credit for. It. You know what I'm saying? So again, Ant Man is speaking from a place where he doesn't know what he's talking about, and I think that is fair. Like I said in my other video, LeBron has kind of played in both eras, and we saw him struggle against the Spurs when he was a younger player. Um, you know, but we did also saw him get over the hump of those Detroit Pistons teams who were very physical. So somebody like LeBron obviously can play, but who else is like LeBron, you know? So that's one player. We're talking about everybody else, even KD. I would have liked to see KD back in that more physical time, you know, while he was growing his body. Would he do the snatch arm thing and, and get no calls? I would have liked to have seen that, you know. So, um, again, man, like I, I like all the errors and I respect what they do and I understand the players can only do what's in front of them. Like Jordan then would have to, if they were to transition into this era, they would have to tone down their reaching in and physical defensive play. But I think that's a more doable thing than, having a player turn up theirs and change the way, you know, their whole nature about themselves, about how they approach the game. Um, I don't think Ticket, uh, and, and I don't think Ticket was talking about Anthony Edwards as far as his talent, his ability, obviously not. Because that ability, that body type can thrive, you know, in any era. I think he's more so talking about the mentality. Like he said, it, the locker room was too grown back then where you weren't doing all that silly stuff that him, Ja, and some other people were doing, it didn't matter about you being the best player. You had to go into that locker room, earn your stripes, and really earn your respect or earn their respect as the leader that they would want to follow. You know, and, and I guess, you know, they invested so much money in the players now that that dynamic has changed. But you look at what Jordan made when he came in, you still have to go in there and win that locker room organically with work ethic, leadership, and play on the floor. Um, you ain't just given a locker room. But I guess nowadays you are, um, this is so tied into the TV deal. You got this player who has this many follows on social media and all this stuff. So I know the dynamics has changed, man, but I want to know what you guys think. I could go on and on about this. I want to know what you guys think about these arguments. Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to next time.